Welcome back to the Roy Garage. Today we're going to be changing all these fluids in the boat and replacing a couple filters. Let's get started. First we got some four stroke marine engine oil that we're going to use for our Mercruiser V8 engine. We got some automatic transmission fluid, 30 weight non-detergent oil for the V-Drive, and an oil filter, and then we also have a fuel filter water separator that we're going to replace along with a fluid evacuation tool. All this stuff is linked in the description below, so if you have any questions or want to take a look at what they actually are, check out the link. First things first, we're going to identify all the places we're going to be pulling fluid out of. Let's get started. Good food. She was. You could lift that whole thing up and it would just come right out there. I don't know why I unscrewed it. That's funny. You're gonna be sucking the engine oil out of the dipstick, sucking the tranny fluid right here, and then sucking out the V drive fluid right there. Let's get uh, pulling out this fluid. So I'm gonna go like this, tighten that, act this one into this. Yeah, it does. Oh, there we go. Well, for those of you who didn't see that, I pushed this down. Dispense, evacuate. Here it comes. Give this a couple pumps. That looks like some dirty oil, Jake. It's a good thing we're doing this. Wow. Actually, what you can do too to make it so you need less vacuum is if you lower this, you won't need as much vacuum. Heck yeah. Why not get as much as you can, right? Yeah. We're getting a little smell of this engine oil and it's a good thing we're changing this because this engine oil smells pretty used. All right guys, let's pull this fluid evacuator out and get some engine oil in there. There we go. Suck the rest of this down. There we go. Clean it up a little bit. We about 3.78 liters right here. It looks like we got about 4.33 liters out. So we can put this whole thing in and then when we get to the small one, we'll be a little more careful. Still that ad. We're within range, but we want to be closer to what we took out. So we're going to put a little less than half of this in there, and that'll be how much we took out. All right, we're done with the engine oil. Let's go take a look at this transmission to see what levels we need to get to and start sucking fluid out. Put it back in. Pulling fluid out. No such thing as sucking or sucking. It's all push or pull, push or pull. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to press that like and subscribe button. Help us get to our 200 subscriber goal. Let's get back to the action. Looks like we're right there. Oh wow. See that? It's pretty low. Yep. Wow, they start sucking. In there. Go all the way down. He's pulling. We've got our transmission fluid sitting out here in the sun so it can be warmed up. We put it in so we measure it, we measure it hot. Oh yeah, that looks fresh. There we go. 
one in. Kind of want to take a measurement. We're actually pretty close there. Yeah. About halfway up. Yep. It's more than what was in it. This is true. We want to add just a little bit. More? I would like to. Yes. Double check. Right, we're at, we got one notch down, so we're right at full. We're gonna call that good. All right, on to this V drive. So when you pull this bad boy out, it has a low and a high, and we're not seeing any fluid. So we're gonna see if we can pull anything out and just fill her up. While you check your fluids. Yes, while you check your fluids. I, I No kidding. Bone dry, huh? All right. Is we dewinterized the boat actually earlier today. If you guys want to check that out, click the link in the upper right hand corner. Before we got started, we ran the engine and got everything up to temp. Now this is going to make it easier for you to pull those fluids out because they're nice and warm. Go slow. You know we put enough in there so it's above low and a and a and a below high. She's still high. We got the V drive full of fluids. A little tricky. The fluid is clear, so you couldn't really see where you were at. So we actually overfilled it and had to pull some out a couple different times, but we finally got to the right level. Now we're gonna give a shot at replacing the, the oil filter. That's the only thing we have left besides changing the fuel filter, but that should be pretty easy because that's an easy, easy spot to get to. Let's get to this though. I don't think it's coming. All this trick um, on a video that we were watching to get ready for this, I'm gonna put this around the old fuel filter down here so when I get it out, we don't spill any or we limit the amount that we spill and it's easy to grab this filter. Oh, she's spewing. Came out. I mean, that bag did a pretty good job of catching a lot of it. Some of it got outside of it and all over my hands and stuff, but I think it's because I saw an opportunity to get my hands onto the filter and spin it easier because it was kind of hard to spin it with the plastic around it. Yep. I think we call that good. Yeah, it was relatively smooth. Let's go to the other side here. And we have our uh, fuel filter over on the other side. Here's our fuel filter. I'm gonna get that bad boy off and put this one on. Right. Oh, she's just full of gas. I can mess with that gas. Flipper. I think I'm gonna call that good. All right, there you have it. New fluids, new filters. We're ready to rock and roll. All we have to do is throw everything back together and we can hit the water. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of the Roy Garage. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you know when a new episode of the Roy Garage drops. Fat sacks are a must. You gotta have these things going to throw out that massive weight because it just makes it long and juicy. If you don't have them, you're looking at a softer weight, you kind of got to go a little bit slower, a little less forgiveness. Fat sacks. <laughs>